Thank you. I now give the floor to the distinguished ambassador for the Libyan Arab Jamahiria. In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Mr. President, Madam President, upon the elapse of more than six decades uh, on the Nakba catastrophe inflicted on the Arabs and Muslims and Christians in Palestine through the usurpation by the Zionist Israeli occupation of Palestine and Holy Jerusalem, Israel is still persists in its practice of violence, arrogance against the Palestinian people in the absence of deterrence or monitoring uh, and in full frightening silence uh, by the major countries uh, who are still using their dictatorship through the so-called veto power in the UN Security Council against any resolution or even any attempt to condemn the breaches by the Zionist occupiers of all human rights and IHL. We wonder, we wonder here, where is the United Nations vis-a-vis -vis those acts? Where is the UN vis-a-vis -vis all of these acts? Where is the Human Rights Council? Where is Chapter 7, which is only applied to the third world countries? Isn't this discrimination and double standards? Uh, There's been a request for a point of order. Israel, please. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, I raise a point of order deferring to your discussion to kindly request the permanent representative of Libya uh, to adhere to acceptable and appropriate language and with dignity when he's referring to a country member of the UN. Thank you. أرجو التكرم من سعادة السفير أن يتابع هذا الطلب وأن يراعي اللغة المستخدمة وشكرا. My delegation uh, do condemn the acts perpetrated by the Zionist uh, terrorist uh, entity in the Syrian Golan Nukta Nidam. Ambassador, there's a point of order here. I, I, before giving the floor to the representative of Israel, I, I kindly, I, I urge you to refrain from using abusive, insulting, or disrespectful language. Israel, please. Thank you, Madam. Uh, Madam, uh, the representative of Libya, probably uh, as a new member of the Human Rights Council, is not yet familiar with the rules procedure. I would kindly repeat my request and asking you to remind him to, sorry, to kindly remind him to adhere to an acceptable and appropriate language when he's referring to my country, a UN member state since 1948. Thank you. Let me take this occasion to urge the ambassador and also all here present to adhere to the language and behavior that is commensurate with the dignity which should be inherent to the discussion of human rights issues in this council. Ambassador, please respect this. You have the floor. Thank you again, Madam President. Uh, anyway, my delegation uh, strongly deplores uh, the violations perpetrated uh, by the Israeli entity against the innocent uh, Palestinians in occupied Palestinian territories and the occupied Syrian Golan. We also denounce the attacks perpetrated uh, against the Freedom Flotilla, which was carrying humanitarian aid to Gaza. Those who are suffering from the scourges of occupation, famine, disease, and the depriv deprivation of the most rudimentary rights. We we call on the accountability of the perpetrators and that they should uh, be. Uh, those who are accustomed to impunity and to be prosecuted before international justice. The Palestinian people is, who, are, who are displaced, uh, his rights are confiscated, his identity are obliterated, and his land is occupied by the Israeli usurpers. Today there are tens of thousands uh, of prisoners in Israeli prisoners. Nobody speaks about their tragedy. Hundreds of checkpoints are present which impede the, da the daily life of the Palestinian people, prevent them from visiting uh, and contacting their towns and villages and thus deprive them of the rudimentary rights uh, to dignity and life in addition to the racist walls uh, which uh, separate uh, uh, the Palestinian territories. Uh, my country hosted last March the 22nd Arab Summit uh, 
and a number of resolutions were adopted in support of the struggle of the Palestinian people against uh, the constant Israeli aggression against uh, its land and against uh, the holy places and heritage. Uh, we fully support uh, uh, Al-Quds uh, and the resilience uh, of its people. A plan of action was declared, declared by this uh, uh, summit uh, and uh, to confront attempts uh, of uh, Judaizing Jerusalem. We call for holding a, com uh, a holy world conference uh, under the auspices of the League of Arab States uh, this year to protect Al-Quds, uh, and we demand to lift uh, promptly uh, the Israeli blockade. Uh, my delegation salutes the efforts made by the peace and justice advocates and members uh, of this international community, and we salute the leadership of this August Council. We urge them to adopt a bold, courageous resolution in condemning the Israeli occupation and its breach of human rights rights laws, despite the attempts by some to hegemonize this council and also uh, to transfer this council to uh, Security Council of the United Nations. We don't accept this and we shall endeavor strongly uh, in order to protect the Palestinian people against uh, double standards and politicization. Sir, my delegation is with the just peace and thus my country do uh, reaffirm that the only solution for the Israeli-Arab conflict remains the democratic states, as uh, indicated by Brother Colonel Gaddafi in the White uh, Book. He reiterated the, the same before the General Assembly, which is the World Parliament. In his statement delivered before the 64th uh, se uh, session last September, he indicated his vision to find a genuine solution through the establishment of a democratic state in Palestine where all is equal without any discrimination based on religion or race. So that thus, uh, thus uh, ending uh, the Arab-Israeli conflict uh, and putting an end to injustice, uh, the crux of the solution uh, lies in the sharing of all Palestinian Arabs and Jews, the land, the water, and the freedom similar to South Africa after the eradication of apartheid wall and apartheid where the whites and the black uh, live side by side uh, in one state without uh, any discrimination. We're looking forward uh, to the day when this solution will materialize in Palestine and where everybody would enjoy peace and security. Thank you. I give the floor to the distinguished